Hi my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well today. So I wanted to show you how to edit a image that you've taken from Google and uploaded into Design Space. So I've got one here and I've just done it as I've done it before. I've uploaded it, I've um, removed all the white from it. Uh, so let's go ahead and insert image and we've saved it as a cut image so we're just going to make it a bit bigger to the size that we want about there I think and then we're just going to duplicate it we're just going to move the duplicate over here out the way so now what I want to do is I want to cut all these all these individual words because I want to change the colors on them so I'm gonna go into my shapes and I'm going to get a square and I'm going to unlock it Just going to make it a little bit and then we're going to highlight the whole thing and we're going to go to slice so then this is going to slice the words out so we can get rid of that we can get rid of that and then we move this over here and we're just going to continue doing that so we're going to get another square And again, we're going to unlock it. And then we're going to, oh. Then we're going to highlight them. And we're going to press slice. We're going to delete that. Delete that. And bring this over here. And we're just going to continue doing that. So we've just got a star here. Uh, to remove the other stars. So I'm just going to go straight ahead and slice it. There we go. So now we're left with these pieces. Now you can see they overlap each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it in stages. So we're going to get a square. And we're going to highlight those and slice. We're just going to move this up here. Now we've got these two pieces, so I'm going to go with a pentagon, I think. I'm just going to play around. See if we can, there we go, see if we can get it in one, without taking the top of the E off. Like that. Now we're going to highlight, I'm going to go to slice, and we're going to remove, and we're going to bring those over here, and then we're going to line these up, we're just going to go to weld. So now you can see we've got all our pieces. 
So I want my stars and I want them to be red. And just to remind you that because they're a specific colour in here, that doesn't mean you have to have your vinyl that colour. It's just because, just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Um, and also if you're going to use different colours, it just kind of shows you how it's going to be. Um, but you don't have to use the same vinyl colour. So then I'm going to go to colour sync. And I'm going to sync all my stars as red so I'm going to go back into color sync I'm just gonna sync those and then I'm gonna go back in here I want the love and the believe to be in green so I'm just gonna click an emerald green back into color sync And line that up there. So now what I'm going to do is, because they're different colours, they're going to cut on different mats. I still want to line them up so that it's easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my love. I'm going to put it over here. So you can see that these are now matched up. So I'm then going to move the bottom layer. I'm just going to highlight these two and I'm going to click weld. So they are now welded together. So now I'm going to do the same with the peace, joy and Christmas. I've highlighted then and again I'm going to go to weld so then if we move our love and believe across So then we can have our stars. Now, to be honest with you, you could do the same, we could do this, but that's gonna waste an awful lot of vinyl. And because they're the same colors, you can pretty much decide where you would want them to go anyway. Now you could also do registration marks with this, so it's easier to place them. And I'll show you how to do that, but it's not necessary with every project like this. Um, I think if it's really complicated and you've got a lot of text or a lot of images or there's lots of pieces to it, registration marks are an absolute must. But with something like this, it's going to be quite easy to line them up. But I'll show you how to do registration marks as well. So I'm just going to go into my shapes and I'm just going to do star. And then I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to duplicate it four times. So then I'm going to choose for one star to go here and one star to go here. And I'm going to move our joy over. I'm going to go into colour sync and I'm going to place two of our stars into the yellow and then we're going to move this one and we're going to pick this one up. So now we're going to remove our, oh, wrong one. So 
now we're going to remove the background so we're going to click on that and move it away and then we're going to highlight these and we're going to click weld so that's now welded all our stars together So then we're going to get our background again and we're going to move it back there and then we're going to get our stars and place them on top of our yellow stars so what we need to do is we need to arrange them and move to front and then arrange this one and move to front and we're then going to place them on top of our yellow stars. So now that's done, we're going to be in our colour sink and we're going to move our stars to the green. And then we're going to remove, no we're not, we're going to move our love and believe across so then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the background we can actually get rid of that now so we're going to press delete and we're going to move our yellows across and then we're going to highlight our greens And we're going to click weld. So these are now all together. And if we move them across, you'll see that we've got our registration marks. So we'll be able to place them exactly where they need to be. My computer is being really slow today, guys. I'm really sorry. So they're where they need to be. And then we can just, when we've cut, we can just add our stars wherever we, we would like. So if we then go to make it, you'll see we've got three maps. And they're all arranged as they should be, except for our stars. And we can move them around because we've not welded or attached those. So that's how you do it. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please do like, follow and subscribe. I hope that's all made sense to you. Um, there's so much you can do. You can get so many different images um, from Google and play with them and change them and change the fonts and the colors and there's so so many options in design space so once again thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you again soon bye thank you so much for watching everyone i'll see you all next time please do subscribe like and comment below bye